Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Puns and Underscore Speak. Here's Puns back in another video. Today's video is going to be a little update video. I haven't done one since uh, I was just I was actually just looking at my channel and where I left off with this whole update. Um but it was when I was in the hospital, which I'll link down below, and then I'll link the like when it first happened video down below. So I only told about two update videos. So I'm gonna kind of, you know, like with the phone calendar and whatnot and how things have <laughs> gone. Um, so yeah, let me stop talking and let So after the hospital, I went to go follow up with my primary care doctor. Um, and he just kind of was like, oh, just, you know, like, I mean, the good thing is that they ruled out the big stuff like tumors, mass, and like a whole bunch of stuff, MS and all that. Um, so we went to go see my pediatrician and sorry, I'm looking down here. I'm just trying to like see in like chrono chronological order of things that have happened. So basically we went to see a pediatrician. He didn't really say too much. Um, he wanted to prescribe more blood work, but he was like, I'm not so sure because they already, like we already took enough blood from you. Um, so they were like, yeah, I'm not going to prescribe any more blood work. However, there is this program and there is, um, a hospital near me where there's this inpatient children pain, inpatient chronic pain management children's program, something along the lines of that, where you go inpatient for four weeks and they teach you how to manage your pain. So we were like, okay, that's a consideration, maybe maybe we were 100 percent sure about it um so that was the pediatrician and then after that um we continued with physical therapy after that and then after that like a week or so later a few days after that we saw the pediatrician we saw the rheumatologist because the hospital wanted me to follow up with the rheumatologist and rheumatologists are very known for putting pieces together so I mean, why not? You know, <laughs> so um, we saw the rheumatologist, and it was over like um, like a Zoom call. Um, so you know, like they saw me walk, you know, sit down on the ground, and I have like a hard time getting on and off the floor. Um, so yeah, um, and they basically kind of diagnosed we di diagnosed me <laughs> with AMP, amplified muscle pain. Um, that's basically when the signals of your brain and your spinal cord are being amplified and, you know, so basically we started with rigorous physical therapy, um, uh, aerobic exercise, um, more blood work and stuff, I think, I think more blood work. Um, I'm pretty sure <laughs> almost every doctor that I've seen has prescribed some sort of blood work. Um, what else did she put? What, did she, what else did she say? Oh, and then she said about the inpatient management program, whatever it's called. Um, she did say about that. She said probably calls because it's a long wait time. Um, so I think at that point we called and we were kind of like, like we were still like iffy on it. Like we were like, we weren't like, okay, like let's do this, you know, and see where we go with this. But we weren't like, no, not at all. So we were kind of like, half and half on it with the whole inpatient program so then after that um i continued with you know like we told physical therapy and basically at physical therapy i do this thing called ice and stem um uh, it's basically with the stem i mean like before the rheumatologist i would just do ice but now i do ice and stem and i still do it to this day and it's where they put like little pads like on my knees and my thighs and it's basically like a little tingling sensation to tell the brain this is not pain, if that makes sense. Then after that, um, hold on. Um, hold on. I'm trying to figure out what's next. Um, what do we do after? Oh, and then after that, what happened was, is we finally got to the neurologist. Finally, finally got to the neurologist. Um, that was an in-person, um, in-person visit, appointment, whatever you want to call it. Um, and she looked at me and everything and, um, 
sensitive and stuff and I, I don't know if I said this with the hospital vi um, the video with the hospital but I'm very sensitive like I'm not that sensitive like upper body but um, my lower body like my legs my thighs my knees calves shins everything is just very sensitive uh, I don't really know why <laughs> um, but I'm very sensitive um, so basically the neurologist was like okay what we're gonna do is we're going to do and um, because my mom wanted to do an EMG because that was the next big test that not, I can't say big test but like that's the next test that will actually show something um, because EMG is with uh, muscles and nerves and that's you know beside I mean CAT scan and x-ray might show something but probably the next step with testing would be EMG so we scheduled that um that's not for like layer 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 um and then we scheduled that appointment um and then on top of that with blood work so basically with this blood work i had to literally do physical therapy and then i had to go get rushed over to do uh blood work because it had to be like when the muscles were warm or something like that um and they were and then that blood work was just basically testing me with rare stuff nothing really came back abnormal i guess or like really like something was wrong or something um so yeah um but that's basically what she said uh we were still kind of with the amp um so then after that what happened was is that i let's see if i can find it um and then after that i think oh and then i see this doctor right completely unrelated to the um legs and basically um well this doctor that i see is also works with someone else so she kind of like knows a little bit i guess um and you know in the beginning we test me for limes and it said that like and then the infectious disease doctor was like no she didn't have limes because she has like this many ba bands when you need this many bands and whatever so basically what happened was is that we saw this doctor and the um and then what happened was is that she was like she has limes and we were like oh my gosh like seriously so for literally for those couple days we're just complete stress so then after that um, just recently, actually, I did an evaluation with the hospital to see if this pain management program is a good fit for me. And they basically said no. Um, well, they didn't say it like that, but like, they basically said no, do everything outpatient, follow up in three months. That's basically all that they said. Um, you know, um, so basically I'm not going in, you know, for anyone who is concerned, I am not going into the hospital doing this program instead of I'm doing everything outpatient, which is a good thing and it's a bad thing because it's like, you know, like with COVID and like being away from family and uh, afraid of missing something. Um, but at the same time, like I'm doing everything outpatient, I still get to see my family and friends and, you know, like not have to miss anything and, you know, whatever and not have to worry super much about COVID. So then after that, literally that the, the that same day, but later that day, I saw the room another rheumatologist, same practice, but they like work together. Um, and we saw the rheumatologist in person, and she looked me like literally like from head to toe. If I'm not joking about this, <laughs> um, so basically what happened was she saw this, and I don't know how well you can see it, but um, it's this thing on my hand, right? And we weren't, and for a long time we thought it was ex eczema. And so she saw this and then I actually have been scratching on my head. I don't know, you know, like especially here you can see, but I don't know how much it'll show up on the camera, but she was like, it might be psoriasis. So I want you to see a dermatologist ASAP. Um, and then while that, we, and then we brought about the whole lines thing. And um, basically what happened was, is that uh, she was like, like I'm, um, I'm gonna email the neurologist and the infectious disease doctor, tell them about your worries and that, or concerns, not worries, I shouldn't say that, but like concerns and, you know, 
and um, have a phone call on Friday and then see where I follow up from there. So then after that, what happened was is that, um, so then after that, what happened was is that, I'm trying to think. So we said, so then we, after that, we saw the dermatologist. He said it's not psoriasis, long story short. Um, he prescribed me with a whole bunch of medicine with my, with my scalp, my hand, everything. Um, so it's not psoriasis. However, he is going to put me actually on it, on the medicine to treat me for the limes. However, it's going to treat me for acne. So it's like kind of killing two birds with one stone here. Um, because I do have a little bit of acne. I don't know, you know, again, I don't know how much you can see. <laughs> I don't know how much the camera picks up. Um, well, so then after that, what happened was, is that, um, so then, uh, um, the, so now where we stand is we're waiting for the, uh, the rheumatologist to call and deal with that. And then, um, not deal with that. I shouldn't say that, but like, you know, and we're going to see where work things out from there. Um, again, I haven't done an update in a while, but that's basically the update right now. Um, you know, I'll keep updating you guys as best as I can. Again, go follow my TikTok to, um, keep uh in the loop of everything in real time so yeah i didn't want to keep this video too long but anyways i hope you guys enjoy make sure you like comment subscribe post every wednesday inside my tiktok has musically counts ones are going to be and yeah i'm hoping we can you know find a cure not find a cure but like help me get better do you know medicine whatever and then i'm really hoping that I'll get better soon in the next month or so. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Bye!